what did you feel? First period seems to be pretty tight defensively, and mm-hmm. things look things look pretty good. First period, where do you feel things broke down? Well, I think that uh, Syracuse played a really good game. You know, they didn't uh, give us much, and uh, you know we had a tough time generating offense right uh, tonight. And uh, you know, we uh, I thought when we killed off, you know, the five on three in the second period, and then the full five minute penalty. Uh, you know, I thought that uh, you know that would give us a some momentum and give us a chance to, to, to win this hockey game. Uh, you know, we came up sloppy in the third period, and gave up a goal there, and then uh, you know Syracuse playing you know inspired hockey right now, and uh, you know it's their fifth win in a, in a row, and you know their goalie's making some big stops, and we made a push towards the end there when we pulled the goalie and uh, you know pulled the goalie twice, and you know what we just couldn't come up with the big goal. So tomorrow heading into Lehigh Valley, another yeah. tough opponent. Yeah. Uh, stick to the same game plan or, or just. Well, the game plan right now is try to get a win, and uh, you know what? It's uh, it's a pretty simple game plan, isn't it? But uh, you know what? Having said that, you know we need uh, contributions from uh, different people. We just can't rely on uh, you know a first uh, first line that, uh, or a power play to, to give us some offense. You know we got, we got to create some offense somehow, and uh, to do that, you know we need all five guys on the ice doing the, doing the job. So uh, you know we'll uh, look at the film tonight, and then uh, we'll make some adjustments tomorrow. With Eisen Schmidt and Jolson healthy again, how how what did you think of tonight was Marcus's first first game? Jolson's well, had a couple. Yeah, I thought Mar- Marcus in the first period was trying to find his legs, you know, and, and then the second period he was uh, he was skating better, you know. That's his first asset, and you know if. Uh, uh, you know, if, if he does that, you know, he's going to, you know, create some stuff. And, uh, you know what, he, he had to kill some penalties tonight, too. He did a good job at that. Uh, and uh, Jules, you know, played well. You know, he was solid and, you know, uh, had some, some good hits. And, you know, he goes back for pucks. Uh, you know, it doesn't matter how many guys are coming at him. You know, he can make plays, uh, uh, you know, retrieving pucks. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm happy with their game. And uh, uh, right now we have uh, McCarron that went down in the second period. And, you know, we'll see, uh, you know, what, uh, what changes we'll make in the, in the lineup tomorrow. Back. Yeah. Look, uh, look pretty strong out there. How's, how's it feel finally getting on the ice? Season? Yeah, it, it feels good for sure. You know, it's it's been a while for me uh, getting back or getting healthy and getting back on ice with uh, with the team. So you know, I'm happy to be back out here. But we gotta we gotta turn things around here for sure. Where do you feel things are breaking down? I mean, you guys are getting shots, you're getting quality looks, but. Yeah, for sure. I think it's just little things, you know, a turnover here and there will, will cost us a goal, and, you know, it's tough to uh, get that lead back after you're down. So I think, you know, as a group, we, we can turn it around. I know we can. we got the guys in the room to do it. You feel, uh, you know, you played a couple games with, with most of this crew at the end of last season. How do you feel chemistry is so far being sort of new to the team? Yeah, I, I think it's good. You know, being here last year, I think, helped me a lot uh, coming in this year to, to know the guys, even though there's a lot of new faces. I think the, uh, the leadership group's done a, done a great job just to, you know, welcome the younger guys in and help us out as we go. It was good. I mean, I'm uh, happy to be back out there on the ice. Uh, obviously, uh, first period was a little tough uh, getting back into it, but uh, I thought I did a pretty good job. I kept the shift short at the start and uh, got back into the game. Uh, yeah, but overall, I felt felt good. You looked like you had a lot of junk, you had a lot of energy out there. Um, what was your game plan for tonight for yourself? Just kind of exactly what I did. Yeah, exactly what I did. Get a feel of the game. Obviously, uh, uh, yeah. Start start with the short shifts. Uh, that's what I what I thought about before, and then uh, I felt uh, I felt good as the game went on. So I uh, started doing a little more. I started trying a little more, and uh, uh, yeah, I mean I worked hard back. I worked back hard up to this point. Uh, skated a lot, worked out a lot, and uh, yeah, I thought it was good. First period was really solid, especially defensively for you guys. Where do you think breakdowns happen? Flex just weren't going in. The chances seem to be there. Um, I thought we we weren't bringing enough pucks to the net in general. Like uh, we didn't have uh, that many high quality chances early on. Um, I mean we were solid defensively, which is uh, always a good sign. But uh, at the same time we gotta we gotta start making play in the in the O zone and uh, and uh, especially early on get get more shots on the net. And I I thought we can do a better job with that. This time with your rehab and whatnot, you seem to have really kept a it's it's never easy I didn't think it was easier at all it was uh, at first it was a tough breakdown for me again uh, being being injured again being out again having through having to go through all that again but uh, I I knew the process from the from the last two years and uh, I knew I had to push through it I had to do it and uh, that's why I'm standing here today uh, feeling good after the game. I guess first and foremost, how did your first game with the Rocket feel for 
Uh, it was good. I, obviously, it wasn't the result we wanted, but um, got a lot of responsibility out there tonight. And uh, this team has a great potential to be a, a, a good team. Um, playing against them a couple of weeks ago, they're so skilled and a lot of good support. And um, you know, unfortunately, our power, we can capitalize on the power play chances tonight. But uh, I think uh, all in all, we had a good effort. But uh, as a first game, it was uh, it was fun to get out there with the guys right away, get in the mix, and uh, a little bit of a travel day yesterday. So. But uh, to get in with the, the guys here uh, on the road, get to spend some time with them, uh, it's, it's a good feeling. Um, you know, trades happen in this business. Uh, how's, it feel, uh, how's it feel coming to Montreal Canadiens organization? Uh, I mean, it's great. I um, always grew up watching Montreal. and um, you know, It's not the first time I've been traded, so <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people know that by now. But um, it's just another opportunity to try and make a name for myself in, in the NHL. And, um, you know, this is where it starts. I've started here before. I know what it takes to get back and um, want to support my teammates as much as possible. And, you know, we, we use each other to, to, to be successful, especially the young guys. Uh, they got to know what it takes to get there. And uh, I'm going to do anything I can to, to help them get to that next level. So that kind of goes to my next question. You know, as, as a veteran player, do you, do you embrace that role of mentor and role model and, and enjoy working with the younger guys? Oh, absolutely. I think... Um, when I was a young young player coming into this league, I had a lot of great mentors as well. And Scott Nichols is the one, one guy that when I started with St. Louis, and he broke out when he was 29. So he's a guy that uh, I try to pass on the wisdom that he gave me and to help these young guys. And I think that goes a long way for these guys. It's um, you know, a lot of guys come up from junior and they're maybe the, the studs, and it's not an easy league to get to. Obviously, it's the best league in the world, but anything I can do to help these guys and just uh, kind of guide them along, it. Uh, I enjoy doing that, and um, now I'm the old guy on the team now, and I, I got a little, a little harassed when I walked in there, but uh, it's all in good fun. So for fans who maybe have not seen you play, just, just describe, if you had to scout yourself, describe your style. I think I'm just trying to be responsible. Uh, I'm nothing flashy, never have, never will be, and I, 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 I'm not afraid to go into the, the corners and uh, get physical, and that's where I get all my goals from, is going to the net and being responsible. So. Um, I like to bring a lot of energy when I can and uh, be physical. I think that's where I get all my uh, success from. So I'm not going to shy away from that, no matter who I'm playing with. So it's uh, that's how I that's how I scout myself. Right. Uh, you've had a bit of everything out there tonight. Power play, penalty kill, yeah. start on the first line. How did how did it feel? Um, how do you feel that you can contribute best to this team? I think just that uh, being strong defensively, playing with. Uh, my line mates tonight, I think we generated a lot of good chances. Uh, obviously, it was a penalty filled game, and there wasn't too much flow on that. So, you, you want to capitalize when you can on the power play. It's been a, been a while since I've been on the power play, but I enjoy being net front. And, uh, you know, we scored a goal at the end there, and um, we're going to kind of build off that. But you want to try to score five on five as much as possible and not give the other team so many power plays. But uh, I think we did a great job. A lot of guys were sacrificing, so I think we're moving in the right direction right now. Do you know any of the guys on the team from, from other experiences? Yeah, Brol, uh, VU, uh, new Peter Holland, but uh, we did the switch. We did the switcheroo. So uh, uh, yeah, we talked to yesterday and just taught, told them how great uh, both organizations are, how much we're going to enjoy it. Um, obviously, great group of guys. Um, it's hard to find a bad hockey player these days. So uh, hopefully, he's going to do well there. I think we're both looking for uh, the same thing to get back up in the NHL. Just the reaction of the bench. Yeah. With that goal, that that, that had to feel good. No, it felt great, you know, especially for uh, for the players. You know, they they worked so hard. Uh, you know, even uh, in the losses we had in the last few games, you know, the guys gave everything they had, and uh, you know, we we had chances. Uh, uh, you know, it looked like it felt like you needed the you know a perfect game to to win a hockey game, and uh, you know what the. The meetings today was just about, you know, having the right mindset and, uh, you know, think positively uh, and uh, visualizing ourselves, you know, with, uh, with our arms up, you know, at the end of the game. Uh, but having said that, you know, it was a, a good team effort. It was, uh, you know, contributions from, uh, from a lot of people. Craig uh, mm -hmm. mentioned that, you know, there just wasn't any quit in the room at yeah. all tonight. Yeah. Where do you think guys are really finding that fire in the belly? Well, it's the... Uh, Probably the uh, determination to, to get that win, you know. And uh, like I said, we felt that we, we played some some good hockey. It's just that you know puck wasn't going in for us, and uh, you know we were, um, and the one or two mistakes we'd make, the puck ended up in the back of our net. And nothing, uh, it wasn't the goalie's goalie's fault and stuff. It's just that uh, you know it happened that way. So the fact that uh, a guy like you know Cracknell, I think brings brings that 
you know, the uh, the no quit and uh, you know the, the good leadership and you know work working in the right direction and uh, doing things the right way and uh, guys follow on. Yes, we're 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 playing better defensively. You know, uh, we're not given as much as, or as many uh, scoring chances. <laughs> and I think what we do b better is that when we have the puck, we make plays more than uh, than we were, and uh, we don't panic. Your goaltending tandem is also looking looking pretty comfortable. Yeah, no, he, no, he played he played well tonight. You know, he made some big saves, especially uh, on one of the power plays they had. You know, some some shots uh, from uh, from Brennan and uh, and Carey, and uh, you know he's. Uh, Obviously, maybe the first goal you would have, you know, liked to get back, but uh, you know, not only him, uh, you know, uh, he said, might as well get the, get the, <laughs> what's it called, the, you know, the, the teddy bear toss, uh, you know, out of the way early and uh, and move on. Absolutely. This is, I imagine, something that you can now build on heading into a home stand with some yeah. divisional matchups. And yeah, especially uh, Bingo coming in. You know, uh, we played two games already against them. Uh, we won the first one. It was a crazy game. Uh, I think we, the final was seven six or something like that. And uh, and then we lost the second one where you know they played you know a really good game. And uh, I think they have a better team than uh, than the record shows right now. And you know, they're a team that plays uh, really hard along the boards uh, and also uh, you know deep in the, on the forecheck and. And, uh, you know, they're good at protecting the puck, so we're going to have to play, uh, you know, good hockey. Uh, and especially, you know, coming uh, coming back at home, like you said, and then we got Toronto twice on the weekend. So and we all know that Toronto has a really good team. So, uh, you know, uh, our work is, you know, is not done here. So we, you know, we, we need to, to get some rest. Nothing like a eight-hour bus ride to get some rest, right? Um, and any update on McCarran's injury He's back in Laval uh, now, and he had surgery last night, and he's, uh, he's doing well today, so he's uh, happy with the results. Okay. You're a teacher, and a couple of your grads had a pretty good night in Montreal tonight. Mm -hmm. Phil Rose, goal yeah. to assist, yeah. Carr, goal to assist, yeah. uh, Houdon, goal to mm -hmm. assist. Your head's here, but your heart has got to feel good. Oh, every time we come uh, between periods, you know, our <laughs> Marco, our video coach, uh, goalie coach, uh, you know, you know, gives us, uh, uh, you know, the update on, on, you know, on games in Montreal and stuff, and uh, it's always good to see. You know, it's uh, it's fun. It's a fun. You know, it's a good night for uh, for the or the organization uh, tonight. And uh, when you get two points, that's what matters, you know. And uh, but it's nice to see, you know, our our guys getting points up and uh, helping the team win. You know, they're they're in a good uh, good run right now, and uh, that's great to see. But uh, let's let's just talk about that win in general. What does that really mean for you guys in this room to finally get a win, especially in overtime? I thought uh, I think we talked about it before before this morning and before the game that we wouldn't need a positive attitude. We needed a, a big win tonight, but uh, it wasn't going to happen in the first period. It was about building the process and and. Uh, Sticking within our game, uh, we are down, and we, we found a way to come back in the last 17 seconds, and, and then capitalized in overtime. So that, that dressing room in there was, uh, you know, excited all game, positive. Um, we just knew we were going to win that game. I, we had a positive feeling about it, and guys stuck together and uh, made the plays they had to. Two goals for you, a uh, good way to make new friends. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it was exciting, especially with uh, Terry being my roommate on the road now, and so that's it's a, it's a lot of fun to contribute, especially in a, a big win when uh, things weren't going so well when I got here. And uh, after last night's tough loss, I think uh, to have a big win like that where everyone was contributing, not just on the score sheet, but blocking shots, taking hits to make plays. Um, a lot of guys sacrificed uh, away from the score sheet as well. When you came in from Hartford, did you feel that uh, the confidence was uh, pretty low with this team? Uh, I didn't think so. I th they, they weren't losing game 7-1. You know, it, it's, it was uh, you know, just a little bit we needed. Maybe a goal here or there and maybe a special teams kill or a, penalty, or a power play goal. So um, I think a lot of guys uh, bared down tonight and we executed on all areas of the ice in our D zone, the PK and power play. And, uh, we got rewarded, and uh, we have to build off this win and carry it into the next game, definitely. You guys have battled a lot in the last couple of weeks. Tell me what that feels like to get that, get that off your back, especially in overtime. Yeah, we got we were rewarded for the, the work we've put in the, the past two weeks. Maybe we lost some close games, but tonight to defeat a, a good team like Lehigh Valley, it's very fun. Um, Kraken was talking a little bit about 
talking a little bit about how there just wasn't any quit in the room tonight at all. Every intermission, you guys were determined you were coming out here with a win. Where does that, you know, especially when, when you're you're on the roll that you've been lately, where does that passion and that fire and that drive really Well, come? yeah, we're starting to know each other pretty, pretty well. We played together in St. John's, all a couple of the guys, and then with the arrival of uh, Cragnell, it's like a fresh breeze, if, if I can say he's a correct guy. I, I identify myself uh, with guys like these, so it was good to play with him. It was fun. Absolutely. And how do you, how do you think uh, this just sets you up now? You've got another home stand coming up before you head to Charlotte. I think this sets you up well heading forward. Yeah, division rivals. We got you know, we got Toronto. It's never easy. And we got uh, Bingo, if I'm not uh, if I'm not mistaken. But it's all about coming back at our house and starting to, to win some hockey games. Great, feels great. Honestly, we really needed that after those seven games in a row, and uh, you know, especially the way we did it, we really <laughs> nail biter. But it felt good. So many tight games, so many one goal games, so many overtime games. Where do you guys find the motivation and the drive to just not have any quit and just keep doing it? Uh, well, the motivation we got for sure is that we're happy defensively the way we're playing. We're not giving that many goals, and uh, you know, tonight finally went in. We got some good bounces, and, and then we're going to continue like that. How are you feeling about your game? You know, if guys are banged up, you're finding yourself uh, up, up on the uh, first line or whatnot. How, how are you feeling about your game? Felt good. You know, it, it felt good to play with Tara and uh, Izzy. You know, they they played great tonight and helped me uh, helped me make some room on the ice. You know, we, we created some chances and uh, you know, just great to come out with the win. That was uh, you know, it's the first time we've actually had a chance to really chat with you this this season. How's the chemistry? You know, a lot of you guys are. St. John's guys, but there's some new faces as well. How do you feel chemistry is working out there? Uh, the chemistry is going good. You know, we have a lot of young guys that, that just came in. We have a lot of older guys that just came in too, but it, uh, it's a good mix. You know, we, we're getting along good with all the road trips we've had so far, and we're just, uh, we just got to keep bonding and keep working hard.